Right folks, something different today. Um, just been down at Hurston, I'll have the new XADV in. Um, 750 scooter trailer. That's like, like a cross between my Africa twin and my NC700. It's a twin cylinder, uh, 750, that's like that. So it's a uh, DCT, so here we go. That's us in the drive mode. Uh, com the both brakes are on the handlebars, just as a scooter would be. Um, you set up very tall, uh, quite firm there over the, over the ramps. So uh, but that's not what you want. Have to be careful for a first while. Let's uh, brand new tires on it. So I'm only at miles on it, so. But we'll get a spin on it and see how we go. But it's fine looking back. Uh, I'll stop at some stage and let you have a look at it. Right, the screen's adjustable. We'll have it quite low at the moment. Um, just sort of just get by the air around. But it kind of comes up a fair bit higher than what, what I have it set there. Um, gear changes in the, the DCT seems lovely. They're first, between first and second, so. Just nipped up into third. Not the first bike uh, that I've had uh, with DCT on it. I used to own a, a VFR 1200F with a DCT on it, the first generation one of those. And uh, DCT was absolutely fabulous at changing gears. Uh, but I, I do think the bike was a bit powerful for DCT. Certainly would, uh, would be more suited to this type of bike. But it is chunky, it feels very big compared to the NC that I have. Uh, it's essentially the same engine, only mine's the, the first generation with the, the 700 rather than the 750. Uh, 750 has 7 more horsepower, 54 horsepower, where mine is 47. Uh, it's, it's sort of lagging that way, 47, but uh, this might be a bit different. Comprehensive dash there, it's got uh, everything on it. Uh, fuel consumption. Air temperature, uh, mileage, date. Bit of a strange one, date and time on it. Fuel, and you've got your rev counter as well. Um, good big read out of speed there. DCT definitely feels at home in traffic now. It's, uh, not having to worry about clutching and feathering the clutch. Definitely feels a good job. The manual gear changes are so slick there, I'm just, just switched it on the manual. Uh, and there, it won't go up another gear because I'm too low revs. Dropping down the gears is brilliant. Uh, no fault of comfort either, it's a firm seat, but uh, that'll soften up. It's, uh, it's only very few miles on. I just, uh, just nicked for the 6th gear, um, uh, it seemed lively enough, a bit more torque than the, the NC700 that I have, um, but again there's an extra 50cc, a few more horsepower, so. Wind protection's good, uh, even with the, that screen low, the wind protection's very good. There you go, just a wee bit of acceleration to drop two gears. Uh, DCT seems to be a very clever system. Um, I think Honda's uh, fiddled it a bit and uh, improved it over time. Um, let's 
uh, uh, from the the VFR I had it was it was actually very f bit fast for it. You know, it would drop into first, and the wheel would come up, and yeah, and it made it quite a bit of a handful to, to ride. But uh, with this power bike, that would be fine. Sitting up nice and tall here. That's good visibility around you. It's, it's, uh, I just clicked it into sport mode and it seems keener to drop down gears. For normal everyday stuff that drive mode would be just fine. Uh, 750 engine over the 700 seems like I'll definitely gain revs a lot quicker. Seems to be a lot freer revving. Now that acceleration was absolutely lovely, nice smooth, barely felt the gear changes on that. Um, now we're sitting up in sixth gear around about the speed limit and uh, really comfortable. The brakes feel fine, although with the, uh, 13 mile on it I would say they'll need a wee bit more bedding in. Right, up for some twisty stuff. Plenty of go on it. Um, that's not uh, sports bike go, but uh, ample. Still taking it a wee bit careful with, uh, with the brand new tires and all, but uh, seems sure footed. Well, definitely keen to go down the gears. And there you go, the brakes feel okay. Now where's he going? What's that you now? Here we go. Definitely sure footed enough now. Just a little bit cautious because of uh, the new tyres, but in each corner will scrub them up that wee bit more. But that sport mode is, uh, de definitely makes it quite lively. Seems spot on for the road now. I might be taking this off road today. Um, probably because I'm not a good off road rider. Um, on the road, it's sure footed. Uh, it doesn't wave, it doesn't wobble, it's uh, it's quite firm. It's, it seems to be more of a road bike. Um, the Africa Twin is very soft and spongy. Uh, Where well this isn't, this seems quite firm.
definitely enough sports bike performance, but there is certainly enough go there to have a bit of fun. Um, <coughs> definitely makes it easy thrown about, and um, it's not going to spin up on you coming out of corners or. But it, it's you know still plenty plenty of go with it there. Um, points in the right direction, and with uh, this sport mode, like overtakes should be easy. Um, That's hence. <laughs> Effortless overtake there. DCT so easy to ride. Side to side, so easy there. It's just not like a scooter, it's a uh, it's motorbike handling, it's definitely motorbike handling. On the drive mode now. And, uh, that sport mode was actually very, very good. Um, it held reasonably the right gear every time for where you wanted to go. Um, the performance is great on for for it only being 54 horsepower um, and so easy to ride. Um, now discussion price wise I think it'll come in around about nine and a half grand. Uh, I think that's the, uh, the I don't have the exact figures, but I think it's somewhere around about that. I remember from the, the show it's about nine and a half thousand. Um, it's a lot for a scooter, although I'm saying that it is certainly more than a scooter. It is, it is a motorbike. Um, uh, the the automatic is it's, it's really not uh, like a scooter. A scooter with the, the CVT isn't, you know, the, it's, it's not great. Especially when you put more CCs onto it. You know, the, I've had uh, a 400 CC scooter, and it was a bit much for the the transmission, the, the little um, belt drive transmission. It was a bit, just a bit too much for it. Uh, with this having an actual gearbox. With, with you know, two clutches on it makes it a far, far better prospect. Still goes all right in drive mode. You know, so there's a bit of acceleration uh, without being on the, the the sport mode. Wind protection's great on it. 
I must say, I, I could maybe raise that screen a wee bit more. Uh, if it was my own bike, I would you know, certainly experiment on it. Um, high speed stability is great. I must say, that scratch around the, the back road was uh, certainly good fun. And this uh, A, A and B road stuff is uh, really nice. Now we've dropped down to traffic speed now at 40 odd mile an hour um, and behind traffic and it becomes comfortable. Um, all the fun had scratching up and down the wee back road there. Um, it just transforms into a commuter bike now. I have to be honest, I'm a fan of the the NC concept, uh, and this seems to be an extension to it. Although that that is certainly um, a lot more has gone into the, the, this bike. Um, you know, the, the wire wheels, uh, um, the taller suspension. As it is quite tall bike. Um, but again, it is it, it, it's come from that. But it is really tall. Um, and I, I'm a bit of a fan of them. Now, what I will say, um, I can understand why people with, with the NC 700 would um, would certainly be uh, wanting wanting more out of it. Um, for me, it's a it's a second bike. Uh, and I class it as my scooter, you know, so uh, I've reconciled that. Uh, but this this 750 is a totally different different prospect. There certainly is a bit of go in it, um, although not uh, not an absolute flying machine, but there is a, there's certainly meant to go to have fun on it. Um, and. Uh, there's plenty of torque in it. Um, definitely the DCT is well suited to this, this engine and uh, that sport mode was just excellent fun. Really was excellent fun and uh, in around uh, the, the twisty stuff. I would have buy one. Um, for my only bike, uh, yes I like the funky style, I like the, I like the engine. Um, and if, if it was banned just one bike, yes, it would certainly be a prospect for it. Uh, for me, it would be a second bike. And uh, I think it's too much price-wise. Uh, to me, it would be better value to buy an NC700X if you want that um, off-road style. And get the DCT if you want the same gearbox. Uh, I think it's a better buy. Um, Uh, there's definitely a style now this is uh, much more appealing than the MC 700X in, in round town this is so, really such an easy bike to ride I must thank Charles Hurst Honda um, for lending me the bike uh, it was one I was very keen to get a ride on when, when it came out um, so I don't think I'm getting a sale out of me on the, on this, uh, but I cer certainly I'm tempted with the the, the NC 700X, um, especially at the moment when I have a not percent PCP deal on it. Uh, it's, a, it's definitely a a good prospect, but uh, this is certainly nicer styling. Um, Oh, there's the boys with the speed cameras. Playing very well behaved on my scooter. <laughs> and everyone in front of me is being very well behaved. <laughs> Definitely at, the, at this speed it's... Uh, 
bike is so well behaved, it's so nice. Um, and uh, not having to use the gearbox when, when we're stopping and starting. Um, and doing it all for you is a definitely a lovely prospect. With it being so smooth, uh, I could run away with you in speed. Um, yeah. I didn't run to the side with that speed camera there. Uh, I was just ex um, accelerating. You could, you could certainly run away with the speed. Um, get yourself into bother. Uh, it is so smooth and the gear changes are, are so slick. Um, uh, I, I could run you into bother that way. Um, Another good thing about these is uh, the fuel consumption. Now, um, I think the NC700 are reckoning uh, they give the, the fuel figures of uh, 78 miles a gallon. Now, in real life, now I, use, I do a lot of town work. I, I, I use it up and down to work, and I'm only I'm less than three miles away from where I work, uh, and use it to go shopping on most of the time. Uh, and I'm getting around about 65 to the gallon out of it. Um, it's quite commendable, to be honest. It's uh, for a bike. Uh, it's uh, motorway stuff. If you set seventy-five, you're not too bad. Again, you'll you'll get the sixty-five to the gun. Um, so I reckon in the real world, that's what you're looking. Sixty-five. If you're really gentle with, you'd be, you'd be looking at seventy. I would imagine this uh, would would be. A green lane bike rather than a, 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 a true off roader. Um, it seems quite firm, although th there is a bit of trouble with suspension. It does seem quite firm um, for the, the, the uh, if you were going to go off roading. Uh, it would certainly be light stuff that you would do. Uh, I would say it would be, be good fun to do that with. Um, but as a road bike, um, I think it's a fabulous road bike. Right, now to do a bit of a walk around in the bike. Um, 15 inch wheels, I believe. Uh, bike is 15 anyway. Chill uh, wing tires, bridge stones. Uh, uh, it's an adjustable screen, that can be adjusted up. LED lights. Um, as you can see, it's quite a tall bike. Uh, lovely up sweep, swept exhaust. I believe there's a top box for them. Uh, it may come as standard, I'm not sure, but uh, it's not fitted this one as yet. Um, enclosed chain, always a good thing. Um, it's definitely a pretty bike. Now, there's, pr there's prettier colours in that, to my mind. Um, not always very fond of these matte, matte finishes, but uh, I know there's. Uh, Colours like the Africa Twin, um, which definitely are nice. Big long travel upside down forks, uh, radio calibers. It has all the toys. Um, definitely has a good job. Um, uh, nicely moulded in passenger foot rests. I believe there's also uh, adventure rests that you can stand up on and. Uh, if you're really wanting to do a bit of off-roading. Uh, it's keyless ignition. Uh, I haven't switched it off because <laughs> I'm not sure if it, uh, I want to start it. Uh, but, oh no, very pretty bike. Um, and useful too. Definitely very useful. Um, so, there you go. Right, one thing I've noticed uh, there when I was getting back on the bike. Um, the conundrum do you get your leg through, uh, uh, step through like a scooter, or do you throw your leg over it? Both are very high. Um, de definitely there's a, a, a height there. With, um, you've got quite a, quite a height to throw your leg over. Um, and it's not as easy as the Africa Twin, where you would st you can jump onto the footrest and flip yourself across. Uh, and if you're going to lift your leg to, to get across the, the step through bit, it is very high. Something you would get, you would get, grab a an act of doing, but it uh, it is something that uh, is different. <laughs>